It's a beautiful day to be neighborly. A beautiful day for a deity. Could I be God? Would I be God? It's a beautiful day and I'm feeling tall. For God is in me or he's not at all. Could I be God? Would I be God? I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like me. Because I am the source of all the world's creativity. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Or I might punch your face. I punched Hemingway. Could I be God? Would I be God? Let me be your neighbor. Let me be. Please let me be. Oh, could I be your neighbor? Hi, folks. Today, I've got a big surprise for you. And you'll never guess what it is. Come here. Let's take a look. What's this? It's a bag. Can you guess what's in the bag? Maybe a prize for you in the bag. Let's find out. Open the bag. I'll reach in and... Oh, look at this. It's a blue guitar in my bag. Let's see what we can do with a blue guitar. Let's see what we can do with a blue guitar. And let's start with the letter C. Most people live ordinary, meaningless lives, like your parents. But me, I'm a poet, so that makes me important. And I want to teach you how to be important, too and not live those dull, meaningless lives of everybody else. So, first thing, kids, is we want to learn how to see things as they really are. And when we see, we're using our eyes, and we're also using our brains. Now, there was a famous artist named Picasso, and he drew pictures and made people look just as they are. Like this man playing... The old man with a guitar. And you can see that is the way people actually look like when they play guitars. Their heads are bent 90 degrees to the side, just like that. And Picasso was able to catch, capture that uh, with his drawings. And Picasso had a friend named Gertrude Stein. And she wanted him to paint a picture of her, so he did. And when her friend saw the picture, they said, Yeah. That's so ugly. She doesn't look like that. And Picasso said, she will. Say, kids, would you like to see a magic trick? I can make my face do different things. Watch this. Now, don't do this because you might get stuck. Can we turn the camera off for just a minute? They said, you have a blue guitar. Do not play things as they are. So I reply, things as they are are changed upon the blue guitar. Things as they are have been destroyed, have I? Am I a man that is dead? Am I? The bread will be our bread. Stone will be our bed, and we shall sleep by night. We shall forget the day except the moments when we choose to play. The imagined pine and the imagined shade. And I'm so glad, kids, that I can share my poems with you today. Could that be? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, it's Mr. McFeely! Mr. McFeely! Mr. Stevens! Do you have something for me? You know, I have a postcard for you. Well, look at this. A postcard from a volcano. It says, children picking up our bones We'll never know. These were once as quick as foxes on a hill. Well, thanks, Mr. McFeely. Do you have anything else for me? I do. Another very special package. 
Oh, well, great. Thanks very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, looks like a good book. Bantams in Pinewood. Let's see. Chieftain, if we can, of Azken and Captain, hot tan with Hannah Hackles, halt! Damn the universal cock! As if the sun was blackamoor to bear your blazing tail. Fat, 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 fat! I am the personal. Your world is you. I am my world. You ten-foot poem among inchlings. Fat, be gone! An inchling bristles in these pines. Bristles and points their appellation tangs and fears not portly as can, nor his hoos. So, kids, I think those bugs really put that chicken in his place. Now, if you remember in our last episode, our friend Crispin had escaped from the land of make-believe and had liberated himself and had entered the land of real imagination. So let's join him now. I am so sad that we still have friends stuck in the land of make-believe where things are not real. Yeah, let's liberate them. Ah, we'll get them. Yeah, we. Uh -huh. Let's go liberate them. We shall burn the land of make-believe to the ground. Ah! Miss Pussy, today is your birthday. As king, I am going to declare a celebration throughout the entire land of make-believe. including my beloved Miss Pussy. which you know to be a fiction, there being nothing else. Yeah, the exquisite truth is to know that it is a fiction, and you believe in it willingly. But you, sir, are stupid dupe, because you do not know that you are make-believe. So now we strip off all the illusions from you, king. Yes, and that you are king. Like this, and like that, and like that, and... We <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well Bye.